let's see. I was in St. Louis, and I went to um, where Ike and Tina Turner were playing, and um, I was introduced to Ike Turner, and you have to get cleared with him if you go over there at night in East St. Louis, because East St. Louis uh, at night is a uh, pretty dangerous place to be. But if you cleared through Ike Turner, you can go to the clubs and nobody will bother you. I felt like, well, I got that taken care of. So I walked on the bandstand. Ike said, what do, what do you want to do? What kind of thing? I said, uh, let's do Stormy Monday Blues. He said, Stormy Monday Blues? I said, yeah. He said, man, <laughs> Stormy Monday Blues is like the national anthem for blues players. Very few of them have a intestinal fortitude to get up on the stage and do it themselves. I said, well, I, I know it. He said, well, all right, we'll go ahead. But if, if the guys start laughing or, you know, making noise, I can't do anything about it because they just, I said, no. So I started, I kicked it off, and they all looked at me and they couldn't believe it. He said, man, you know, where did you learn this? I said, from T-Bone Walker. I used to go out and sit and listen for hours to T-Bone play. And I picked up on not everything he does. I'm not T-Bone Walker, but the basics. I picked up on the basics, and uh, I can play the song uh, good enough that I'm no T-Bone Walker, but then again, I'm no uh, Jimmy Wakely either. And uh, they all laughed, and they said, well... Anytime you want to do Stormy Monday, just let us know and we're ready. I said, well, I appreciate that. So that's how I kind of got introduced to the uh, black crowd over there in St. Louis. So when I went to East St. Louis, if I happen to play, see, I want to play some blues, they don't laugh at me because they, I play Stormy Monday. <laughs> <laughs> 